Hello everyone, this is Vern. I'm an anti-aging consultant. I help my clients to look and feel even younger and healthier as they age. And in today's Just a Chapter a Day, I'll be sharing a chapter from this book, Good Leaders Ask Great Questions by John C. Maxwell, a leadership guru. And I'll be doing it on a daily basis, one chapter a day. So in today's chapter, all right, chapter number one, why are questions so important? So according to John Maxwell, Answering questions also gives him the opportunity to share from his heart. And uh, of course, in, the, to, in order to reach our leadership potential, we must embrace asking questions as a, a lifestyle. And of course, he mentioned eight values of question. The first value, okay, you only get, to, you only get answer to the question you ask. So uh, of course, it is better to look uninformed than to be uninformed. All right? And uh, of course, we need to curb our ego and ask a question. Anyway, even though it may look foolish sometimes. So with profound questions, you get profound answer. You get life confidence. You get wise decision making, clear crystal focus in life, uh, focus on high priority and mature processing. All right. So of course, uh, secondly, in terms of value, it also unlocks an open door to opportunity. So basically, sometimes there's a lot of opportunity behind. All we need to do is just basically ask. And uh, by asking questions uh, to the people that whom you met, be it your prospect, be it your friends, it also allows you to understand them better in terms of their experiences. And sometimes you may have business opportunities spark up from there as well. Thirdly, questions are most effective means of connecting people. Now, communication comes from the Latin word communis, and basically in English, it means common. So in order for us to connect with someone, we must find a common ground, a commonality. All right? And uh, basically... Uh, it's just like, say, for example, when you say certain things, they'll think, oh, me too, yes, same here. So it connects with them easily. And of course, uh, it also, asking questions is not also about matter what you ask, but also how you ask too. So fourth, questions cultivate humility because when we are honest with ourselves, we know what our, our weakness is. Uh, we, when we ask questions, we tend to be more authentic. Okay, and people love someone who is open, you know, for... For, for the, the other person to be open, first we must be open ourselves. And of course, they like people who are open, they like people who are authentic, who are real, okay, and tend to trust them better. Fifth one, questions helps you engage others in conversation. The secret to a good conversation is actually asking questions. And one of the questions uh, that is actually very common, okay, that he asks a lot is why? Why? Say for example, a certain, uh, your, your friend suddenly mentioned that he actually recently quit his job. Why did you quit your job? All right. Or alternatively, uh, I'm looking for opportunity. So why are you looking for opportunities? Okay. So interesting, right? So at the same time, uh, it helps to engage people. And by asking questions, sometimes we can find out how we can value at them. Especially when you're meeting someone uh, whom you know. Perhaps you want to prepare some questions that you may ask him or her okay, later on when you meet up. So this is also an opportunity for you to value at them. Six, questions allow us to build better ideas. Shared ideas, all right, uh, shared thoughts allow us to actually build the idea on top to make it even better, all right? So, of course, asking the same questions uh, over and over again will help us to make a certain idea, certain topic even better. So, you can think about it. Now, it also stimulates, okay, creativity as well. Now, number seven, questions gives us a different perspective. A lot of times we may be fixated a certain perspective at things. We may have certain fixed assumption and a miscommunication arises. Okay, uh, a lot of times because different people will have different assumption. Different people have different perspective of things. So when we want to uh, uh, overcome that is basically, all right, ask the question and listen, okay, and see what are the perspective of other people. Okay, so that we don't have any miscommunication and we correct any wrong assumption and prevent uh, all these conflicts from happening. Number eight, questions challenge mindset and get out of the rut. So sometimes we may encounter mental laziness, don't feel like thinking anymore, we are sort of stuck there. So even by asking the same question over and over again, it can keep us thinking, keep us moving. Okay, and of course, uh, if you are willing to begin with doubt, you are most likely end in certainties. That's what he said. And uh, according to him, he, well, uh, according to one of the leadership author and trainer, Mark Miller, okay, while he's listening to 2012 TED presentation, he noticed that most of them had a trait in common, which is asking question, okay, which prompted by question as a beginning. Now, of course, question are also linked to chain of discovery and innovation. Now, it can be life-changing as well, questions, all right? So, uh, basically, 
He mentioned a life is journey, one in which we seek to find ways and make a difference. So questions help us to make that journey. So there are some life question, uh, life changing questions that other people ask him. So he, he wrote down top 10 of them. So I just mentioned it out briefly. So the first one, why, what do you want to do with your life from his dad? Okay. From his teacher, he said, do you know you are a leader? Do you have plan for personal growth? Can I help you get started in business? How can we receive regular ongoing training from you? That's from his attendees. What could we do to make a difference from his brother? What will you do with the second half of your life? Will you call me anytime you need help? Would you like to start a coaching company? And last but not least, will you trust me with your life? All right, these are questions that has helped shape him or change his course of direction in his life journey. Now, of course, asking questions that also change his life, not just others, but also his life. These are some of the questions he asked. Top 10. Mom, how much do you love me? Margaret, will you marry me? Pastor, how do you build a great church? Les, why do you write books? And that's before he decided to become an author himself. Dad, can I have your blessing to leave this organization? Leaders, what am I required to do that no one else can do except me? Charlie, will you help me write books? Kevin, can I mentor you? Jeff, whom do you know that I should know? In fact, this is a very good question, especially for networking. Readers, how can I add value to you? So these are top 10 questions that he has asked that also help change his life. So questions have sparked the way for his personal growth, prompted positive change of direction and led to many, many successes for John Maxwell. So with that, that's the end of uh, chapter one for the book, Good Leaders Ask Great Questions. See you tomorrow.